Okay, Tony, again, we're looking at mobile interactive kiosk or MIC running cloud screen, and you were talking about basketball tournaments uh, and the sponsors and that sort of thing. What were other uses for the mobile kiosk kind of technology and cloud screen were you talking about? Um, well, I just, I just think it, you know, we talked about the basketball tournament. It would, be, it would be a nice thing. People could come up. You could have a live stream going. They could see the current game going on. They could, would be able to buy tickets for an upcoming game. They could see the, the game schedule for the day or the week. You know, you could have the ads running for the different sponsors. You know, and then with your, your panels, you could change out those panels to be the graphics for the, the tournament. You know, that I think that would be a very nice selling point that, that could be brought in, you know, for these big tournaments and things like that. Um, I think they'd also, I, I mean, it might be worth looking into for graduations because, you know, when people are coming up to the, to the Coliseum or the, the Colonial Center for graduations, you could have information about what graduations are at what time, where the students need to report to, where, you know, what p information parents need to know, you know, that, that kind of stuff might be, might be useful in those kinds of situations as well. Very cool, and I'm going to get, I'm going to make some brackets so that you could hang a couple of coolers on this, so if you wanted something with refreshments to kind of draw the crowd and give them something to hang around, right. you could use it, I mean, you know, having this on the back of like a food food cart kind of thing right. for the vendors at the ball games and stuff, you could do that, so... Jeff Seiler, Interactive Display System with Tony Fling over at the Richland Northeast Auditorium.